hard to underestimate the importance of the native people's interaction with the colonists themselves and how that structure changes um, and, and forms the different identities within the colonies themselves. So Apachacanaho changes everything when he comes into power. The relationship between Powhatan and Jamestown alters completely with Apachacanaho. It's direct attack on Jamestown in 1622 and again in 1644 creates a new fear it creates the important identity of othering. The concept of other, othering, is, is a very strong thing throughout history, isn't it? So if, you've, if you think about it, how one identity is bolstered by seeing the difference in others of, and the threat of others. Um, in medieval history, there's a great book by David Nuremberg called Communities of Violence that shows how people's identities are formed by othering others by looking at them as different, by fighting against them, by seeing them as a threat. That's what begins to happen in Jamestown very strongly with the Pochacanaho. Um, with those direct attacks, you're, you're able to very easily say, this is what it means for us to be colonists, and, and this is our power comes from fighting those people around us that are Indians, these, these peoples. By the time of Nathaniel Bacon, this is where you really see it start to happen. The political structure within Jamestown in the 1670s, you start to see these high aristocrats coming in. The Berkeley family, actually the castle uh, that his family owns outside of Bristol is not far from where I live here. But he comes to Jamestown and has, takes control. And so he becomes part of this new growing elite, these plantation elites, who are then disenfranchising these lower, smaller farmers. Nathaniel Bacon is able to unite these disenfranchised um, workers. He's able to also unite this new, this new group of people, these actual indentured servitude, these indentured servants, as well as slaves, to unite them against a common enemy. And that's all Indians and saying we need to fight all Indians. There's Indians that are coming in in refuge because of the power of this Algonquins um, and, so you, and the uh, Iroquois Indians and all these other big groups around. So there's different groups that come into Jamestown, but he says, no, we need to ex get rid of all of them. Um, and so he's able to unite a rebellion uh, against Berkeley, against this higher structure of Jamestown political structure through this ideology of othering and using this idea that we need to get rid of all of these people who are a threat to us, the, all these Indians. Now think throughout history, and think about US history of how that concept of othering is used by creating a common foe. Think of how it's used in today um, when you are able to unite by having a common person to put all your energy to attack. Nathaniel Bacon does that by, by having a common enemy against these Indians peoples.